MeshKit allows developers to implement its functionality in a variety of ways. As well as the editor tools and an easy to use API, MeshKit provides some powerful runtime components that you can drag and drop into the scene. Let's assume I wanted to make this house's mesh double-sided at runtime. All I need to do is drag and drop the make double-sided at runtime script onto the object. When I press play, it just works. Let's remove this component and try something a little more complicated, like combining all of the houses in this scene. Again, all I need to do is click on the parent object of all the houses, and then drag and drop the combined children at runtime script onto the object. This mesh kit script is packed with options. For example, you could separate sub meshes first, create colliders, set physics layers, game object tags and more. I'm going to make a few tweaks to add mesh colliders and to delete objects with any disabled renderers. When I press play, you can see that the meshes have been combined down to only four game objects and also contain mesh collider components. So to recap, MeshKit gives you the option of using editor tools, the API, or easy to use runtime components to set up your meshes, whatever best suits your project. Thanks for taking the time to check out MeshKit.